A simple way to show both the menu and the order screen at the same time is using a tab bar across the bottom of our app, with the menu in one tab and the active order in the other. Swift UI gives us a tab view for just this purpose and it works much like a UI tab bar controller. So I'll press Command N to make a new Swift Art UI view. I'll call this thing our app view. And for this text, that's going to be where we have our tab view. Now creating tabs is as easy as putting different views inside an instance of tab view. But in order to add an image and text to the tab bar item of each view, we must use a tab item modifier. Let's start with the code. So I'll delete the text hello world and instead say there is a tab view. And our first tab will be a content view with the tab item of an image using system name. And I'll say list.dash and below that, the word menu, boom. And after that tab, I'll do another tab called our order view, which has the tab item, scroll down slightly, using image, system name, uh, square.and.pencil, and the text order, like that. So we have two tabs like that, all inside a tab view. Let's take a closer look at one of our tabs, this one here. This creates an instance of our content view and assigns an image and some text as its tab item label, the thing that represents this view in the tab bar. The image is made using the system name initializer, which lets us load images from the built-in SF symbols icon set. To bring this tab bar to life, we still need to do two more things. First, we have to have an order instance inside the preview environment so the order view can work. So down here, we'll say static let order equal a new order. And our app view has dot environment object that order. Second, we have to change scene delegate dot swift so it creates an app view rather than a content view. So in our project navigator, I'll go to scene delegate, find this line of code here, it makes a content view and replace it with an app view instead. And now, at last, you should be able to press Command R to build and run your app. Let's find out. Boom. So I'll select full English and choose order this. Then go back to the menu and I'll choose Tower Burger and order that. And hopefully in our order screen, boom, we have our two items right there as expected. And what I love about this approach is that we're not doing the real heavy lifting of making different parts of our UI sync up. The observable object protocol and at environment object attribute are making sure all parts of our UI stay up to date. So as soon as the item detail screen announces something's changed, something's been added to the order, the order view screen will automatically refresh to show those changes. In the background, any view that relies on an environment object will be refreshed when it announces changes. In practice, that means Swift UI will reinvoke the body property, which in turn means everything inside body will read the latest values from the environment.